Why did I create a salon like this? It is not a feminist movement, but an artistic movement. Talented women are hardly accepted anywhere. Even the Arta Romana exposes them reluctantly. That is why I started the show where gifted women can show their work without encountering the difficulties associated with personal exhibitions. It is undeniable that this woman's fair has enabled young talents to make themselves known. The achievements and contributions of Nina Arbori in relation to women in Romanian art are undeniable. For her, everyone deserves the chance to have their art and talent shown, regardless of something they had no control over. Their gender. But who was that woman? And what did she do? Tamara Nina Arbore was born on 18th of October 1889 in Tecuch to her father Zanfir Arbore and an unknown mother. It could be useful to point out that her father was a well-known political activist as well as an amateur historian, geographer and ethnographer. At first he was into anarchism but then in 1877 abandoned the movement pursuing the ideas of socialism. He had earned many academic credentials with his detailed works on Basabi Rabian geography and made many other contributions. Then again, Zanfir Arbore is not the focus of this video, but if you want to learn more about him, I highly encourage you to do so. Link for more information in the description below. Nina also had an older sister, Ekaterina, a communist activist as well as a physician. Keeping in mind her family history, it is not known who inspired her interest in art, but regardless, she took her first art lessons from Nicolae Vermont while she was a student. As for Vermont, he was a Romanian realist painter, noted for his wide range of subjects, as well as his interest in social issues. He began his career in 1884 as a contributor to Universal, a newspaper, which existed from 1884 to 1953. In 1890, Vermont, together with other artists, founded an art salon. It is, in my opinion, a curious fact that Vermont was one of the first to introduce themes related to the lives of unemployed individuals. So yes, it is no coincidence that Anna Barbora became such a good painter, considering her teacher's artistic pursuits and achievements. In 1906, she enrolled at the Academy of Fine Arts, Munich, and upon graduating, went on to Paris, where she started working in the studio of Henri Matisse, a French painter commonly regarded, along with Picasso, as one of the most important artists in defining the revolutionary developments in the visual arts throughout the opening decade of the 20th century. Regardless, Nina chose to return to her motherland, where she held her first personal exhibition. The quote I provide in the beginning was in regards to the group Al Celor Tre Dome, or Group of the Three Ladies in English, which she found together with two of her friends who are also painters, Cecilia Cutescu Stork, a pretty influential figure herself and strong advocate for feminism, and Olga Graciano, a writer and painter representative figure of Romanian neo byzantism she seems to have been largely forgotten both by the world and Romania itself. Then again, I may be wrong as I've never looked deep into her story or asked art historians about her. Either way, I promise in the future I'll make videos about both of these women, as they seem pretty interesting themselves. But even more inspiring to me is the continuation, so to speak, of the group's activities. In 1916, they became the founders of the Romanian Association of Female Sculptors and Painters, which was sponsored by the Romanian royal family at the time. Nina Arbore was a renowned painter of her time, her work being acclaimed by art critics, as well as her appearing in several magazines. She also taught art at the Academy of Decorative Arts. Following her sister's execution in 1937, however, Arbore seemed to disappear from the public eye dying not long after, on 7th of March, 1942. I believe it's safe to say that her work was truly influential and empowering in many ways. It makes me pretty sad, however, to say that I didn't find much information about her life other than the one I have provided here. Honestly, her faith is rather complicated as well as the reason for her being mostly forgotten. 
The death of her sister is also strange. As I said, Ekaterina Arbora was executed, in fact, contempt to death by Stalin himself. Considering she was a communism activist, one may, and rightfully so, ask themselves, why? And from what I discovered, it was caused by her being an acquaintance and travel companion of Anna Parker, a communist leader. It is interesting to note that Marcel Parker, Anna Parker's husband, followed the same faith as Ekaterina, execution. Now I read about Anna Parker on Wikipedia and an analysis of her said that she opposed some of Stalin's orders. I quote, No other communist leader has been shown to have resisted the Soviet-imposed line during the common form period of high Stalinism. Another possible explanation to Ekaterina's execution as well as the forgetting of her sister's work could be the differences in the views of the family regarding communism. Zanfir Arbora, as I mentioned, was linked to the anarchists, which wasn't exactly the socialism Stalin envisioned. Then again, he did change his worldview, but that doesn't seem to have pleased the communists. And here, I'm gonna make a little comparison to Bulgaria. Because if a child's parent was associated with anti-socialism movements, this child was almost certain to have a much harder life than somebody whose parents were linked to pro-socialist thought. In summary, your past was really important. By the way, it is common for socialists to desire the artists of the past who didn't exactly correspond to their vision to be forgotten. That applies not only for painters but also writers, musicians and people associated with art in general. The reason we even know of Nina Arbora was because of Ioana Vlasiu a senior researcher at the Art History Institute in Bucharest. I can't give you the exact day she learned about this artist, but I believe it was rather recent. I really hope you enjoyed this video as well as Nina Arbor's paintings. I think that she was an incredibly important and inspiring figure of Romanian art and one that definitely needs to be remembered. Like and subscribe if you liked that video as it is greatly appreciated. Thank you.